Hey Bulldogs, it is Mr. Rivera and I am so excited about my guest today because this month, June, is Slavic Heritage Month and we're going to be celebrating here at Mount Vernon High School. I'm going to start with my little Russian that I know, Previet Dobre Otra, which means hi and good morning. Actually, they don't really say good morning in um, in Russian, they say kind morning. So, uh, dobre otra is more of a kind morning instead of a good morning. Is that right? Yes, it is. <laughs> See, I did my homework. I'm ready for this interview. So, tell us your name and um, where are you from? Uh, my name is Thaisa Chuprinov and I am from Russia. Great. I, I love because we're going to. So, the Slavic countries are in Eastern Europe. Can you tell me which countries that we are talking about today? We're talking about Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarus countries. That's what we have here. We have students from those three countries here at Montana High School. So I read you came here in your youth, right? You came here um, to the United States from Eastern Europe to Western Washington. Can you tell us where you're from and your journey over here? Uh, I am from uh, Rost um, Rostov-on-Don. It's this... Um, it's a large city, and we moved here early 1990s with uh, my family. And you were one of the first families that came from Russia to um, Mount Vernon, right? Yes, yes. Because I, I read an article about you in the Skagit Valley. You were just six months on the job, and they said everything about you. So I'm so excited to have this interview because we have a great Slavic community here in Mount Vernon. So can you tell us... Um, about the Slavic community and where um, where they shop, where they go, where are some areas that we may see our Slavic community here in Mount Vernon? Uh, basically, the majority of the uh, Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarus families who settled around Skeja County came in early 1990s and early 2000s. Um, they have large families, so the families would keep coming because it's easier when you already have people you know here. So um, I would say that there are like any other families here. They shop everywhere else. Like <laughs> now, there's, there's a store, right? The Europe Food. Can you tell me about that? Because I think that's where many of the Slavic families shop, right? Yeah, there's a little store that people shop there sometimes. <laughs> and what kind of food do they have at that store? I'm, I, that's some, next on my list. Um, I feel like they have like uh, little traditional snacks. There's some um, pastries. So what pastry should I buy at that store? Uh, I want really Russian Slavic pastries uh, with my coffee. <laughs> Actually, anything would be good, like a Russian cakes or cookies or, I mean, anything, anything is good. So we have a, a Slavic community here and the students go here to Mount Vernon High School. So can you tell us about um, some come to our, our school not knowing English, not knowing they only know Russian, right, or Ukraine, or what are, can you tell us the difference between those different languages that there's, because there's Russian, there's Ukraine, and there's Belarus, you said, or do they all have different dialects, or they all speak Russian, or can you tell me more about that? Uh, they all have different dialects, but um, pretty much all of those three um, different languages, like three different cultures, they have uh, basic Russian language they do understand, so... So um, can you tell me a little bit about the services the district offers for our students that are from the Slavic countries? And I'm, I'm glad that they have it because we have what we covered. We had, we had earlier on my show this year was that we had our Mixteco translator, Mr. Francisco, and then we had our Spanish outreach. And now we have our Slavic um, outreach and what, what you do. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, I started as um, um, IA at Centennial School. I was there for 10 years, and then um, I got into this position. Uh, it's called the Slavic Family School Liaison at Mount Vernon School District. So my role is uh, primary to support the families of our schools. Um, you can contact me in different ways. Some people like to come for a chat while other other. Uh, prefer to send me an email. Some families like to talk over the phone. Others uh, like me to visit them in their home. Um, the idea is uh, that where possible, I will do what is right for you. What, that's what I love about Mount Vernon School District is that we want to give everybody 
their voice, and everyone feels welcome. Because when I talk about public education, we welcome everybody who walks through that door, no matter what country they're from. And so I'm glad we have those services. So what is the most prideful thing about being Russian? You know, because I could tell you about being Latino and how proud I am to be Latino, but what are you so proud of being Russian? What is the number one thing that you're really proud about? Um, I like to, th to keep my culture, <laughs> my traditions for my family, for my kids, my grandkids. This is something that I would like to keep, my language. Can you tell me like one culture that you want your family to keep? Because that's so important. Like me, I like to make uh, food, I like to, to talk about music, but what is something in Russian that should be kept for generations? I feel like uh, respect that the family, the parents, my parents taught me that's the most important to adults, to any other people. So that's the most important for my kids and grandkids. So I'm excited so much. Thank you for being on my show today. I, I want you to know there's tons of information about the Slavic community at the link below. And is there anything else you would like to add for our show today? Um, just, just have fun and enjoy, enjoy this month. <laughs> So, but I, can you say, uh, what's a famous phrase in Russian? I want to hear a little uh, Russian. T tell us something, or a poem, or something that you, just a little phrase that you could say in Russian, because I think our bulldog community needs to hear that. Как uh, дела? How are you? Как <laughs> дела? <laughs> and how do you say bye? До свидания. Yeah. Bye. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs>